Hi all of you awesome scuba divers out there, welcome to Scuba Diving Magazine and welcome to Ask Mark, our scuba diving Q&A, uh, where I mark do my very best to uh, answer your scuba diving questions. So if you do have any scuba diving questions or uh, anything about the underwater world, uh, by all means ask away in down in the comments and use this Ask Mark hashtag to get it featured in the up and coming video. Uh, in the meantime, the community does a great job of answering questions, so well done everybody. Uh, if you do see a question underneath the video uh, that is unanswered, by all means let them know. Uh, today I'm answering a question from Trent Mayer about backplate and wing harness webbing. So Trent says, hello Mark, I'm currently working on putting together my first backplate and wing kit. I'm doing good finding the main parts, but I'm having trouble finding some of the smaller items. The hardest has been rubber belt retainers that fit two inch webbing to secure harness tails. What is a good site to purchase those or is there a better option that is readily available? Um, yeah, so you're talking about uh, these little guys. Um, there are alternatives. Um, you, you spend enough time in the industry, you, you collect uh, a few of them. So these often come with your um, uh, your webbing harness, and they I've always called them just re retainers. Um, but they what they do is if you have a um, a, a tail. Of, uh, of webbing and to save that from like flapping around uh, or cutting it like needlessly short what you do is you get one of these and oops, you um, you put it on the other side but you basically thread it over and it just helps that section of webbing from flapping around you can also um, if you've got a torch or something, um, I don't really have anything, I've got a dive knife. Um, if you have something clipped off to a harness and it's on your shoulder D-ring and you don't want it when you go horizontal to like dangle, then you tuck it underneath that and that just holds it in place. So there's, there's a few place for these little retainers and they do come in a few different variants. Um, this is by far the most common. I'll come back to that a little bit later. Uh, these, I think these ones came with my Apex harness and this is like fabric elastic bungee. Um, it's, it's quite nice because if you turn it inside out, you get a little pull tab, which if you are using it for a torch or something, you can pull on that, just to make it a little bit easier, especially with gloves. Um, this one is a little bit chunkier. Uh, I know that X-Deep ones actually have X-Deep uh, like embossed into the, uh, the retainer, which is pretty fancy. But these ones, uh, you, you'll probably notice these like striations um, or um, I suppose you'd call it flashing um, from the uh, the molding. Uh, these are basically bicycle inner tubes, uh, just sections of inner tube cut into, in this case, like a centimeter width, and um, and that's it. So what a lot of divers would do back in the day would be they um, they go to their local bicycle shop and just go, hey, do do you have any like knackered um like punctured bicycle inner tubes which they can't repair anymore because the hole's too big or something or it's split so it just goes in the bin whereas we we only need that section of it or a few um sections of it um if it's going in the bin anyway can, can i have it and um and yeah and that was it and like a single inner tube would last a diver their entire career because if you're if you're getting all of that i don't think i actually have one um i, I have plenty of spares already um you you just cut off what you need um i know some divers keep some in their saber dive kit just a section because these do wear out over time uh, it's only thin and if you're like in and out of the water constantly and especially for like holding on a torch if you're taking that in and out uh, eventually they do wear out and they do split uh, the thicker ones that one or that one um, they do last a bit longer because yeah they're, they're thicker uh, they, they do take a bit longer to, to wear out but they're a bit harder to 
and kind of stretch over it if you're using it for a tool. If you're using it on like your waistband or something just to hold that excess material, they're a bit better because they're going to stay in position and they're going to just last a long, long time. But they do wear out eventually, depending on um, how much abrasion goes um, goes over them. So um, yeah, it, that would be my first port of call. Um, head to your uh, your local bike shop and um, normally something a little bit larger. The road bikes, they have the really skinny um, tires. Too skinny. Uh, you want like a mountain bike tire. I don't know the... Um, the exact like how you measure tires but you want something that yeah when it is flat it does sort of stretch over that two inch webbing um a mountain bike tire is uh, is usually about the right size they're not particularly expensive if you're buying it brand new uh, but it is worth just popping in and just saying hey have you got any going free basically um because if it's got that like puncture in it that they can't repair it's no real use to them, so they just bin it. Uh, it might as well just go to a, a worthy diver um, and just cut off a few seconds. Yeah, I don't know if that's particularly well known. Um, it's it's something that I think I had to look up because it is just you buy your, your webbing harness um, kit with all the D-rings and kind of stuff, and uh, and you get a whole bunch of these. And okay, and you you look at the diagram and you see them kind of like putting it on. Uh, eventually, you kind of work out what they're for. But when they break, they don't really tell you what to do. Uh, I mean, on I want to say a scuba pro harness, uh, it was always pictured with three um on the uh, on the shoulder strap so that yeah you'd use one and then when that one would fail you use the next one down when that failed you've got one final redundant before you have to undo that entire side and then re-thread one of these um it is a pain and um believe me i've done a lot of uh, like how-to videos how to thread a um a webbing harness onto a back plate and you forget one of these and you have to go back undo everything that you've done already just to thread this back on but um yeah it is basically bicycle inner tubes um nothing particularly fancy um the 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 thinner skinny stuff is better for your shoulder straps um for like your crutch strap that that tail and the uh, the one around your uh, around your waist something a little bit thicker is usually a bit better um and if you can get hold of fabric ones i don't know anywhere that would sell them as an separate item it'd be something that you'd have to like search around for um i don't think i've ever seen them on a website and we certainly never used to uh, to sell anything like this on uh, on simply but um yeah bicycle inner tubes uh, pretty cheap and uh, gets the job done any other questions by all means pop them down in the comment section underneath this video uh, use this ask mark hashtag in your question and, uh, and i'll get to it as soon as possible um also remember to head over to our website schooldivingmag.com check out our magazine uh, it's available all around the world in both digital and print media if you're looking for a subscription uh, otherwise we've got the go diving show coming up in march uh, you can buy tickets we've got a new ticket available which is the um I think we call it the late admission ticket. Uh, so for people who didn't want to like watch all the, the, the shows and things or jump in the pool or whatever, they just want to like visit the stands. Uh, there's a cheaper rate ticket now, which is pretty cool. Um, I'll, I'll put up a link down in the in the description under this video. Um, otherwise, yeah, you can go to godivingshow.com uh, and check it out. Otherwise, thank you for watching everybody. And of course, safe diving.